Hello, this is Venom Man 20 here, and I'm doing a number two to my video of how to care for a pet alligator. Um, I want to start off by saying in my first video I mentioned that alligators need UVB or full spectrum lighting. That is false, they don't. Uh, at that time I did believe that they needed it, but um, all reptiles besides snakes and crocodilians for the most part, like lizards and monitors and stuff, need UVB lighting to break down their calcium. Uh, crocodilians do not need that. Snakes don't either. Um, it ain't going to hurt. If you want to put UVB bulb on them, it ain't going to do any harm, but you don't really have to. Um, first thing I really want to stress is alligators get huge. Everybody knows it's an alligator. Um, putting this in a smaller cage is not going to stun its growth. It's just going to make it grow weird and it's not going to be beneficial to the animal. You always want to have a big cage for it. Um, but they get massive. Uh, you could have a cage big enough for your alligator or you could go ahead and you know have a whole breeding colony of reticulated pythons. Um, they just get massive. They need room to swim, room to get up out of the water, so they take a lot of space. I don't believe personally in getting an animal unless you can keep it its whole lifetime or at least have it within your family. It's kind of like having a salcata tortoise, you know, they're probably going to live over 100 years old, so you're probably going to have to put inside your will by the time you die. But um, I don't like people, a lot of people get them, once they get about three, four foot, they get mean, then they try to pawn them off on Craigslist or try to get rid of them, let them go, all these stupid things, and it just ends up getting the reptile community in trouble. So do not believe in that. But if you're willing to take on the responsibility of keeping it forever, uh, getting it a big enough cage, taking good care of it, and it's legal in your area. I don't see really why you couldn't besides the danger of how aggressive they can be. For the most part, they're relatively calm compared to what everybody thinks. But then again, it's an alligator. Um, at three foot long, it can easily bite you, break your finger, take it off. Um, it could do some major damage to your wrist, or once it gets five, six foot long, it could take off your hand. Um, the death roll that they do, just like crocodilians, is no joke. It can really mess some stuff up. I've uh, experimented with this before with my little three-footer and took a chicken leg and put it down in there and held onto it. And he death rolled and just snapped that bone, ripped the meat right off the ligaments and everything, just just like that, not even trying. Um, so they're really nothing to play around with, but uh, I figured I'd introduce you to my biggest one just to show you within a couple years what they can do, what they can turn into. Sorry, my friend's back there at the camera. He's a klutz. Um, but besides that, uh, here, I'll go get him real quick. And here's my big guy. This is a big male American alligator. And when I say big, he doesn't like me talking about him. <laughs> when I say big, he's still a baby. You can expect this in four to five years of keeping one. Um, they grow anywhere from six inches to a foot a year. This one I'm guessing is about five years old. He's about he's about six foot long and he ain't really tame. He's he's kind of a butt, but here. Go ahead and be free. Walk along. Anyway, get him out of here so I can actually talk. Um, I don't let him free roam. I'm just putting him down just for the sake of this video. Uh, but as you can see, they get very large, very big. Um, they're very powerful. It's all I can do to hold him. Normally, I do have friends help me handle an animal that large. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say. Oh yeah, if your crocodilian goes off feed for a certain amount of time, I've had a lot of questions about this. Um, sometimes it's just that you're holding them too much and they get stressed and whenever they get stressed it ain't good. Um, but a lot of times they'll just stop eating. Don't worry about that. They'll start eating again when they're hungry 90% of the time. Uh, I had one of them go off food after he bit me because it was my own stupidity. My hand was in the way. He grabbed a hold of it. Stressed him out really bad. He went off food for four months. Didn't eat anything. I kept temperatures the same and just didn't touch it. Totally left him alone. Finally, after a little while, um, he started eating chicken and fish again. So uh, 
he's back, fat, healthy, happy again. I started holding him, calming him down. He's still pretty tame. But uh, so just don't worry about it. If they go off food, they will eat again. If it goes much over, you know, two, three months, start panicking a little bit. But uh, if you got any questions, anything at all, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll get right back to you. Hope you enjoyed that. It's been a man 20. Have a good night.